Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, anxiety, <laughs> anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults, 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 18 and over. <laughs> So I wanted to give you the results of eating that cannabis infused cherry pie, mini cherry pies that I made. And I'm just going to tell you it's really strong. <laughs> it's not as strong as say the, um, the blackberry pies, mini medicated pies that I made. And I know why and I'll get to that in just a minute. So let's get something smoking. I got my bamboo pipe that I'm going to use today. For this evening, it's getting to where it's almost evening. T I mean, it's evening time. It's five now here in sunny California. <laughs> I guess I probably could have done this video outside, but I decided to do it indoors. <laughs> so, yeah. Never know what the noise level is going to be like when you go outside at this time. So, you never know. It could be noisy, it could not be noisy. I don't know. <laughs> it varies. Did I bring my lighter? I think I brought my lighter. Yeah, I got my lighter. Here it is. I'm going to take my hair down. I've been having my hair up all day because I've been doing a lot of busy work. So sometimes it's easy just to have it up. But now I get to have it wild and free. <laughs> so yeah, cheers everyone to edibles, to medicating with uh, edibles. Edibles is just another way of getting THC into your system. So I think it's wonderful, and yeah, if it if it's something you want to try, why not? I don't think you should not be allowed to try edibles. You just have to know what you're getting yourself into, and to take your time with it if it's your first time. Don't have a lot, just have a little bit. Wait at least an hour and see how it affects you. Because with most edibles, it takes at least an hour for it to affect you. Some edibles that can be really strong can take 40, only 45 minutes. So it depends on how much cannabis you put within your edibles. And that would uh, determine the strength of the edible, of each edible that you make. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, this is more than an hour later. <laughs> I said I would report back to you an hour later. I had to end up, um, I had to go and um, recharge the battery in my camera. See, I'm having kind of a little bit of a challenge with articulating words right now. <laughs> um, I was just, I was just in the middle of editing some other videos that I did. Like I did a wake and bake today that I won't be posting until tomorrow morning. And I was in the middle of doing these uh, these editings for the videos that I've done for shows. And another show I have coming up is Cannabis and Music, where I'm talking about a band that I really love called the Psychedelic Furs. So anyway, I was editing these videos, and then I noticed that man, a lot of time has gone by. So I think. I'd have to say probably at least five, four or five hours has gone by. And usually for me, with edibles, they last for about six hours at tops. So like they'll, they'll just slowly creep up and then all of a sudden, there it is. You feel it. Your whole body, at least my whole body, feels pain free. And the main reason why I decided to do an edible during the daytime, because you know, well, if you watch, my previous videos where I talk about edibles that I like to eat them at night before bedtime but I've been uh, finding great relief with having them during the afternoon <clears throat> for like the extreme pain I was in today I was having really bad pain in my ankle and in the top of my foot like sharp stabbing pain so as soon as I ate that edible not as soon as but you know it took a while for it to kick in but once it did I was pain free you know, and I smoked along with it. So that was extra, extra medicine, extra medication. So it really helps, and uh, I feel really good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to the healing benefits of cannabis.
I can still feel the benefit, I mean, the, uh, the effects of the edible, but not as strong because it's starting to wear off a bit. But um, yeah, it turned out really good and I can't wait for you guys. <clears throat> you probably already saw it because the way I'm going to post this is that I'll show how to make the mini cherry cannabis infused pies. I'll show you how to make it and then I'll post this video you know showing the results of after I ate it how I feel and I felt really good now I said it wasn't as strong as the um, it wasn't as strong as the blackberry pies I made the mini blackberry infused pies cannabis infused pies that I made you can check out that recipe on here too I have a playlist for that for this for these shows it's called the canvas bohemian kitchen so check out that playlist and you'll be able to see me do that step by step how to make the blackberry pies those mini pies but so yeah <clears throat> the reason why the blackberry pies were a lot more a lot stronger than these cherry pies is because I had a, uh, a top you know like a crust on top like a cobbler it was more like we had a top on on top of the pie for the blackberry pies so that all of the medicine all the cannabis is within the crust so um, there wasn't as much crust on the black on the cherry pies I mean because the cherry pies hardly had any crust on them so I'm looking down I, I started eating another one <laughs> but yeah let's see that's what it looks like it's not like totally covered with crust on the top and I used a thinner amount I didn't use as much like it's not as thick of a crust as it was last time so <laughs> that's just an example <laughs> I ate just half of one but yeah um, it's not as strong so um, but it was good and it helped me sleep very soundly last night and I woke up the next morning feeling well uh, medicated and not really needing anything so and yeah not right away or something like that so edibles I definitely recommend them for people who have chronic pain <clears throat> people who um, who want to not have to rely on um, other methods of pain relief. They can just try something different, a natural approach, and cannabis is definitely a great natural alternative, natural medicine, so yeah. Oops. So yeah, thank you for joining me today for um, this show. Just talking about wrapping it up, telling you how I felt after eating the edible, and I feel wonderful. <laughs> I feel really good, and I hope this encourages people to try out edibles if they really are curious about them. You don't have to be afraid. Um, if you buy edibles, a lot of the time on the label, they'll tell you the dosage that you need to eat um, so you don't overdo it because they want you to have a pleasant experience with their edibles that they make. And that's how I, I'm like that. Well, see, I make the edibles for myself and for my husband because he's a medical cannabis patient too. So um, we both uh, can can withstand um, an extra strength, you know, edible extra strength pie <laughs> because we'll, you know, most of the time, like I said, I'll have it, you know, before bedtime, you know, like. You know how edibles take a while to kick in. They take at least, an, some of them take at least an hour. Some of them, if they're really dosed strongly, can take uh, 45 minutes only, and then you feel it. So, yeah. <laughs> and like I've said before, I do notice the difference between uh, an edible that's made with sativa and an edible that's made with uh, indica. Um, they're both good to me. I both I like how both of them make me feel. Both of them are pain relieving. Both of them are very strong and uh, mellowing out my mind and not making me feel. But actually, let me scratch that. As far as the mind goes with the sativa and the edible, sometimes I can have my mind racing. Um, not to where I feel like I'm like having a psychotic break or something, but it just feels like. I've got so many ideas coming forth. So um, when that happens, if I have an edible that is has a sativa strain in it, I'll smoke an indica strain, or I'll even drink some like chamomile or sleepy time tea, or I'll even like I was saying, I'll 
I'll like smoke some indica strain <clears throat> and uh, even drink some sleepy time tea or some chamomile tea, something a soothing tea to combat the overactive mind. <laughs> I think that other herbs work well with cannabis, definitely. So you just gotta find which ones work well with you when you partake in cannabis. So. Alrighty guys, take care of yourself. If you're gonna try edibles for the first time, take it slow. No need to impress anybody. It's your medicine and it's gonna make you feel better. So you don't want it to make you feel worse the first time you take it. So just take your time with it, you know? You know, there's no rush. Take your edible. <clears throat> that's, <clears throat> excuse me. That's the only thing that people complain about with the edibles is they take longer to, um, work on the body and the mind, whereas smoking it, you know, you feel it right away. And sometimes people say that when they take the tinctures, the cannabis tinctures, that they feel that right away, um, faster, at least faster than they would if they had an edible, say. Um, now, um, my husband makes these, this tincture, cannabis tincture, he uses alcohol um, to make the tincture, and you just only need a, like a little drop underneath the tongue and um, I start to feel it the effects of it immediately you hold it underneath your tongue for a while some people use I was watching this live stream where coral reefer was she's a um, an herb tuber on YouTube <clears throat> and she was talking about in her live stream how um, she uses a tincture that it's, it's coconut oil based I believe and I could see how that would work because you know the oils and the THC cannabis very easily absorbed in the in the body with the oils. So yeah, um, there's so many different ways to medicate yourself with cannabis, and it doesn't always have to involve smoking. And I'm glad that there's so many people that are turning towards alternative medicine and turning towards specifically cannabis because they know that there's not a lot of nasty side effects involved with cannabis. So. If you do your homework, <coughs> and do your research, and um, just be patient with yourself, you'll find the right medication, natural alternative medications that work for you. And cannabis works tremendously for me, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> So yeah, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all the likes and shares. I really appreciate it. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know what kind of edibles you're, you guys are partaking in. And if you actually buy your edibles or if you make your edibles. Uh, no judgments. I make my edibles because it's affordable for me and I can't afford to buy edibles. So I just make them. So <clears throat> that's why. <clears throat> it would be nice if they did have, if like there were stores we could just, well, I mean, there's dispensaries, of course, but I wish it was. Sometimes I wish the chocolates, the edibles were as affordable as like a Hershey's bar. <laughs> because to tell you the truth, it's not, it doesn't cost, it doesn't cost that much to grow, well, it doesn't cost as much money, I feel like, equivalent sometimes to some of the edibles that are charged. And I'm not picking on any specific company or anything like that because I'm not a pro and expert on which, you know, edible companies are more affordable than the other. So I, I'm not going to get into that debate because I have no knowledge of that. But just from what I've seen from a few dispensaries I've gotten to in the past, the edibles have been like way, I was like, wow, that's really expensive. So twenty dollars for a candy bar. Um, I know it's medicated, but my God. So <laughs> they want to make you make sure that you know that this is medicine. <laughs> it's a twenty dollar candy bar. So really be careful with how you eat this. <laughs> yeah, I can see why they're charging in two at the same time. I see why they're charging so much for it because you know you probably only need like there's a big candy bar you get, and you probably only need one square because that's one dosage, so, yeah, depending on what company you buy from, so, yeah.
Alrighty guys, thank you for joining me today and I will see you soon. Brightest blessings to you all.